Now, <laughs> how fair is fair? What is fairness? What is honesty? What is real? What is fake? What is necessary? What is unnecessary? What is right and what is wrong? The United States of America has bent over since the early 40s or 50s to support Israel and its way of life throughout the world. If you say something bad about somebody Jewish, you're an anti-Semite. Period. If you say, I don't like this because it's kosher, you're anti-Semite. Any, anything negative towards any Jewish people, you're an anti-Semite. Um, you can say anything you want negative towards black people. You can say anything you want negative towards white people in this day and age. But you really can't say anything negative about Jewish people in Israel. You, you, why? No one group of people can self-proclaim themselves as the chosen people. Period. And I want to say something. Because someone pointed this out to me. If the word Holocaust means sacrifice, who made the sacrifice? That's why we as a people need to have our own belief system recognized and noticed. We need to have our own political system seen, recognized, and noticed. We as a people don't even have our own political party. There's two parties created for us. There may be a third party sprouting up from grassroots, which will probably be turned and twisted, infiltrated, and imploded within itself. You see, they will put a candidate in position to run for offices, but they never seem to win. I've said some things that a lot of people think that would make me an anti-Semite. But that's just everybody's opinion. I don't I don't I've never been to Israel. I don't give a damn what goes on in Israel. And if they can't deal with their neighbors, that is not my problem. Period. Back in the days when things first began. If you saw two people fighting and you did business with them and they both sold oranges, you don't jump in and say, I want his oranges, they're better. I'm going to back him. What you do is you sit and wait and when one guy or the other got his nose pounded in and the other guy stood up, that's the one you bought the damn oranges from. You know what I'm saying? I understand how you can't sit idly by and watch a friend just take one. Other countries sit back, watch idly by as we do. And for us to be the country, the place where it all gets popping, the center of the world is here. We can't even go defend our own people from one of our so-called friends. If my neighbor, I'm not going to say his name, got an argument with my brother-in-law, who do I, you know, who do I back up? Do I back up my brother-in-law because that's my wife's brother? Or do I back up the man that has to live across the fence from me? Or do I become a mediator and say, man, y'all shut the hell up. Let it go. I then become the mediator. But, if that same neighbor grabbed my niece or nephew or even put his hands on my brother-in-law, then you got to take care of family. Family first. You get it? Threats are one thing. Violence is another. An act of violence towards any American is a problem for me. Especially when 
They come from our so-called friends, our neighbors. Our neighbors who don't actually live in our neighborhood. Our neighbors who live overseas in some other neighborhood. Has taken one of our own? Has taken one of the United States citizens? How can you let a friend take a family member and not say, oh, it's cool, it's cool, you know, hey. We still get along together. There's nothing new. It's not cool. Let me pause this again. Okay. I thought I was going to do a little Arnold Schwarzenegger next. How they're fleecing California. Pause, damn it. Whew. Former U.S. Congresswoman Cynthia McKinney has been kidnapped by one of our friends. A U.S. six-term congresswoman has been kidnapped on a humanitarian mission by a friend. Well, they took the boat down in Somalia. Took Obama a couple of days. He sent in the Navy SEALs. You think he gonna send in the Navy SEALs to get Cynthia McKinney? That just goes to show you those who stand against this country stand alone when leaving this country. I love my country. I will do anything for any leader we have. Regardless if they're crooked or not, they're our leaders. I'm not going to yell at somebody who's on my team when I see them doing something wrong. You have to try to counsel these people. I was going to do a story about Arnold Schwarzenegger and I paused this. And um, I'm just going to forget it. There we go. Go ahead and shut this down so I can finish this video. So Cynthia McKinney is over in Israel jacked up and the United States government and the United States media has a total blackout. If a congressman was taken in Iraq, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, let's do this right. If a congressman was taken in Iran, it would go down. Oh, all kind of threats would be flying. If the congressperson, no, they're scared of China, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I was going to say if the congressperson was taken by Chinese government, then they'd be going on. But the United States of America is scared of China and is scared of certain entities. They're scared of Israel. Israel is just another bleep on the map. And if we don't treat them like they treat us, then we'll all be treated like Cynthia McKinney. Hey, I'm tired of our people dying for other people's beliefs. Okay, I'm sorry. If you live over there in the Middle East, you people up in the Middle East need to deal with your own problems. Half of you over here own stores that don't seem to be going out of business right now because they're in the poorest parts of America serving alcohol, cigarettes, and drugs. Because cigarettes and drugs at one point in American history were, oh, cigarettes and alcohol were drugs. But I digress. The United States of America don't give a damn about its citizens when it comes to Israel. Who is more important, us or their fucking banks? Hmm? I said it. The Roman Empire still exists. You stupid people don't understand. You step on the wrong toes, you get a bloody nose, and the United States of America is scared of Israel. I don't know if this video even came out right. If we're taking hostage overseas, everything needs to be done to bring each and every one of us home. Because that's how it was, that's how it should be, and that's how we're all raised to think it should be, and it was. You've been too.